Color, composition, and form are the three elements that I'm gonna be talking about in this painting video. This is a recent commission that I worked on. And one of the reasons I love doing pet portraits is because I have the opportunity to tell a story about this animal, right? This animal, you know, passed away. I'm able to create something that people can keep forever as a sort of way to remember their animal. And you know, that's a big responsibility. So I have to think a lot about what I'm doing whenever I'm painting one of these. One of the things I really wanted to do was focus on color in this piece. Now in the image that I was sent, this animal is very much just grays, blacks and whites. But I wanted to include a little bit more saturated color to create a little bit of a happier feeling and then also just to boost the color that's there. This is something that a lot of the impressionists used to do back in the day, especially to nature. And I kind of wanted to do that with this piece. So I included some of the color mixing that I did and um, I basically just boosted the saturation of the colors in the image that I was sent. I made the cat more bluish and the background a little bit more warmer and the, the couch or whatever um, the, the cat is sort of laying on a little bit more green. The colors pretty much stay neutral more or less, but just these subtle shifts are super important and help tell the story. And I have a lot of fun doing this. I have a lot of fun switching it up mixing different tones or you know actually adding like a very saturated version of the color in there just to you know create that sort of high contrast to create a really saturated part the next thing that i really wanted to keep in mind for this one was composition as you can see i was sent an image and the image was a lot larger than what uh, i eventually wanted to paint it actually showed the whole body of the cat but for this one i wanted to zoom in because this painting is only eight inch by eight inch although it would you know help me you know, spend less time because the image is smaller. It also would help me tell the story. So whenever I get a commission, I have a little box that asks client, uh, tell me a specific memory about your cat or your dog or your, you know, your bird so that I could probably, you know, include that. So they sent me this image and they also they told me about how their cat used to love playing with this string. Even though they bought other toys for them, they just loved playing with this. So I definitely wanted to include that. And if you could see in the reference image, the string is sort of, you know, away uh, from from like the, the cat's grasp. But I decided to flip it back inwards um, to have the cat sort of holding it as it's sleeping. This is like what I mentioned in the beginning, how this piece is gonna commemorate their cat. So having this sort of small memory that's integrated into this painting is super important. And also when it comes to composition, everything sort of flows a lot better, right? There's this arch towards the top of the painting. Um, and if your eye sort of follows this, this cat figure and it follows that line of the string and then eventually loops back towards their leg which um, I sort of cut off in the bottom there and you sort of move in a circular motion and that's some things to think about studying composition is super important and being able to visually tell a story by you know changing the orientation of these things is, is, is really important and the third thing I wanted to talk about was the forms that I create. Uh, this is also coupled with texture um, and just your painting style. And this also has to do with color. When you're painting realistically, forms are essentially what you're creating with the paint. You're trying to explain something in the real world and using paint to tell that story. You want to create depth, you want to create uh, saturation, you want it to basically mimic life. And the way that you do that is super important. There's some artists that, you know, very meticulously go hair by hair when they're painting pet portraits. Other artists really break it down and just use a couple brush strokes, right? I'm somewhere in the middle of that. I use this technique where I basically sort of dab the brush and lay the paint on top and move it in a certain direction to sort of represent the fur. And I use smaller and smaller brushes as I go on to get more fine details. Like I mentioned, this is a style that I sort of developed. I don't know where I got it from, but uh, it could just be my knack for wanting to create a feeling that there's a lot of detail, but then not actually putting a lot of detail, just letting the brush strokes imply that. Or it could be my love for Van Gogh's work. Like if you ever look at the Starry Night up close or you know online in high quality images, you could see every individual brush stroke that, um, that he puts on there in order to create this feeling that either the sky is moving or you know just to copy the sky to explain what he's seeing in the sky. And this painting technique also creates you know a unique texture because all the paint is sort of dabbed on there there's this texture that's not just you know fully flat so when you're looking at the piece at different angles you might see different things and there's this movement and like sort of vibration that's in my paintings. You know a lot of people online um, think that these hyper realistic paintings are the best but in my opinion Art is more 
about, oh, well, I should say, especially painting is more about trying to capture the feelings and emotions that are associated with a certain image and evolving that, right? Not just having the photo because why wouldn't you just have a photo on your wall? You know, you'd want it painted. Um, so there's a story to it. And that's what I'm trying to do basically with these pet portraits. I'm trying to tell a story in my unique style, use color to do so, and create a piece that someone could have in their house for the rest of their life. So yeah.